In this video, we'll look at a general case for finding the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle. In the previous example, we began by squaring the side lengths of our two shorter legs. So we'll square A to get A squared, and square B to get B squared. We're now going to attempt to show that A squared plus B squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So by moving b squared over to the hypotenuse side, and then also segmenting a squared into pieces, and moving those pieces to wrap around b squared, we can see that a squared plus b squared indeed equals the hypotenuse squared. Since we're not interested in what the hypotenuse squared is equal to, but rather what the length of the hypotenuse is equal to, we must square root a squared plus b squared to determine the actual side length for the hypotenuse. Typically, the hypotenuse is represented by c, and thus we must square root c squared in order to find the length of the hypotenuse which is also known as C. In summary, since the hypotenuse squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, we also can write this as a squared plus b squared equals c squared.